Welcome back to Motion Mix 350. In today's video, you'll learn how to create an energy drink motion graphic ad with your phone using Canva. After you've opened your Canva, go to Mobile Video and choose a blank canvas. Go to Uploads and bring your image onto your canvas. And remember guys, I'm not sponsored by this product. I'm just using it for illustration purposes. You can use whichever brand you like to use. Position your image and make sure that it's in the center of the frame or of the canvas. Duplicate your frame and bring another image onto your frame. Resize your image and make sure that it's in the same orientation as the first image. Make sure that your cans are aligned and are of the same height. After doing that, take your can to the back and then delete the can in front. Duplicate your frame once more, go to upload and bring another image onto your canvas. Again, don't forget to resize and align your image. After doing that, you can send your image to the back and then delete the image in front. Repeat this process until the seventh frame and you'll end up with something like this. For the seventh can we are going to use an image of our original flavor. Now we'll resize and align our can. What we are going to do now is animate our can. In the toolbar, tap on the animate button, go to create animation. Now we are going to drag our can in an upward motion. Remember, you can choose any movement style you want. You can either choose smooth, steady, or original movement style. You can also increase and decrease the speed of your animation. And when you are satisfied, you can press done. And this is the effect that we are going to get. We are now going to create our last frame. After creating our last frame, we are going to head down to Uploads and bring our logo onto our canvas. We are now going to resize and center our logo. Make sure that your logo is in the center of the frame. What we are going to do now is animate our logo. In the search bar, go to Animate. To animate this logo, we are going to use Stomp. Now our next move is to add color to our frames. In the toolbar, go to Color and then scroll down to Gradient Color Column. I think for the first frame we are going to use this color. Now for our second frame, we are also going to go down to Gradient Color. For this one, we're going to use this color. Repeat the process to all the frames until you get something that looks like this. Now we'll have to set duration, time durations to our frames. Uh, we're going to set 0 0.6 seconds to all our frames. We're going to apply them to all our frames except the last and the second last frame. We'll get back to that one later. Now our second last frame, we're going to bump our duration to one second and also our last frame we're going to push it to five seconds to spice up our ad we are going to add some graphic elements to our project in the second last frame go to elements and in the search bar type rocket smoke and then tap on these three little dots and choose animated Scroll down and choose this smoke element. The name of the element is called Blue Exploding Smoke Cloud. Bring your element onto your canvas. Now what you can do now is send your element to the back. Don't forget to resize and reposition your element. At least if you can put it at the bottom of the frame. We are going to do the same with our last frame. We are going to add some graphic elements. Go back to elements and this time around the element that you are going to use is called exploding smoke cloud. 
bring your element onto a canvas. Reposition and resize your element. And this is how our effects are going to look like. Now it's time for us to add some sound effects. Go to audio and when you get to audio, tap on these three dots and select effects. After selecting effects, in the search bar, type whip whoosh. And as you can see, there's different effects of whip whoosh. You can select this one, whip whoosh 8. Drag your effect onto your timeline. Make sure that it's at the beginning of your frame. Repeat the same process up until the 8th frame, adding the same sound effect. And you'll end up with something like this. Now for our last frame, we are going to add a different sound effect. Go back to audio, and when you get to audio, in the search bar, type slam. Scroll down and select this effect. The name of the effect that you're going to use is Hit Seeker Short Slam. Drag your effect onto your timeline, and this is what you're going to get. We are now going to add a tagline for this tutorial. I already uploaded an image of the tagline from the brand's website. You can also add your own. On our last frame, we are now going to add voiceover. Go to Uploads, and in the Uploads section, go to Audio, and then bring your voiceover onto our timeline. And here is our final project. Ignite your mind. If you found value in today's video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Until we meet in the next one, peace.